Okay, so just wanna go through how to use this. The remote will be off when it's sitting. Pick it up, click any button, uh, but you can, usually you can just hit this main button with the yellow. And then whatever you wanna do, whether it be watch Apple TV or direct TV, you're gonna click the correlating button and that's gonna bring you to that area, turn the TV on, um, and you'll be able to control everything within that menu. So screen just went off, obviously hit main again. Say you wanna watch Apple TV, click this Apple TV button, turn the TV on. Takes a second, now you're in Apple TV. Volume, obviously volume up and down, mute. And then your power, which is this red button, that's always power off. So say you wanted to power off, click that. It will bring you back to the main page. Um, so if we wanna to go to DirecTV and click DirecTV. Americans have evaded taxes over many years. In doing that- Same thing, and then you got that it would mute button, guide, exit, menu, up and down, play, pause, fast forward, all that stuff works. Um, and then say you were on cable and you wanted to watch Apple TV, you would go back to the main menu, hit main, then you would click Apple TV, give it two seconds, and it will switch the HDMI over to the Apple TV. Same thing for going back to DirecTV, you click main, DirecTV, give it a second, and it comes back on. And then obviously your power button here, this green power button, ignore that, does not do anything. Um, it just creates confusion. So I did not program anything on that button. So you shut everything off, bring you back to the main page. And then again, you can you can click either of these, whichever you wanna watch, Apple TV or Direct TV, and that will bring you to that menu. Um, it does not need to be pointed at the TV. It can be pointed in the opposite direction. It will still work. Um, so let me know if you have any questions and I can FaceTime anytime to review everything with you. Thanks.